All right, here's the pick. They stayed put. They stayed put. With the 31st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, mm -hmm. the Baltimore Ravens select Jason Away, linebacker. Oh, what? Mm. What? 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 First team all Big Ten for Penn State this year, Mel, despite not recording a single. What? Buffalo looked in, they went with Rousseau. Jason Owe had five and a half sacks in 2019, did not record a single season in 2020. Then he tested like a freak. I mean, you talk about one of the freaks in this draft with 6'5, 260. Incredible. Why would they go for a linebacker? Why not an edge or an offensive lineman? What? What? Y yo, y yo. Unless you gonna put him on the edge, why you? Okay, he's a good player. The good, the guy seems like a solid player. I'm not mad at it. I'll take it, but I don't, I don't, I don't. That shocked me. Like, it took a linebacker. I don't hate it. I'm not upset, but I would have rather them pick an offensive lineman. I I don't know I don't know about this guys <laughs> I I don't know about this this is a weird one 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 I would have put Creed Humphrey I don't I don't know man I just I don't I don't know why they went for this unless they're gonna put him on the edge maybe they're gonna get this linebacker they're gonna use him on the edge they may use him on the edge they may use him on the edge the Costa I don't. I don't exactly get where you're going with this, but maybe they're going to use him on the edge. Huh. Interesting. I think it's. I don't think it's a bad pick. I'm surprised. He doesn't seem like a bad pick. Seems like he's going to be put as our edge. He's definitely going to be on the pass rush. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. They might put him on the edge. They might put him on the edge. Wow. Uh... I don't know where they went with the. He was I'm. Tackles and tight ends and saying, you know what? This should work out. He's six five. He runs a four three six. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Again, it looks like they're probably gonna put him at the edge. They may use him as their edge rusher. They might put him on the edge. Bucks are already in their pick. Bucks don't care who they pick. They probably just, they threw a dart at somebody and said, take him. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nobody cares. Okay. Yeah, that's great. But uh, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm actually kind of surprised seeing them make this, man. Uh... This is this is interesting, man. This is interesting. You know, again, he's he's six. What is he? Six five. I'm not mad at the pick. I mean, it don't seem like it's a bad pick, but it's like I'm best. I'm just surprised about it. You know, if you're gonna choose to stay in the first round, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. 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 Yeah, nobody cares about the Bucks. I don't know about this Ravens flock. I'm interested to see how you guys think about this. Um, this is a weird one. 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 It's definitely going to help the pass rush, but uh, I would have preferred a straight-up edge rusher. But you know what? The Ravens are so good at developing their linebackers. They'll probably develop this guy to be their edge rusher. You know, he's 6'5", runs a 4'3'6". They'll probably transform him into his, their edge rusher. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about this, man. Maybe the Ravens. The Ravens got to know something that we don't know. Because otherwise, I don't see why they picked this. Uh, I feel like I, this is one I have to sleep on a little bit more. Again, I know what he brings to the table. He, again, athleticism. He's tall. He's definitely going to help with the pass rush. But they could potentially develop to put him on the edge. I just, I just don't know about this, man. I, I don't know about this. I don't, I don't know about this. They don't whiff. They usually don't whiff on pass rushers. So they've, they've got to know something we don't know. So th this, this one looks like. I'd rather be a Raven fan than the Bucks. <laughs> this, this one, this one's a reach for me. I, I, I'm not gonna say it's a reach for me. I think he's a good player. 
And the Ravens, when it comes to linebackers, they know what they're doing. So I'm not mad at this. But at the end of the day, I just got to see what he can do. I might have to go check out the tape. There's not much tape on them anyway, but I'm probably going to have to go check out some of the tape. But it's interesting to see them pick a linebacker. I really thought they were going to pick an offensive lineman. This would have been a good time to do it. I, again, I would have never thought they would have picked linebacker. I thought, okay, they could probably pick a receiver. They already did. Maybe they're going to pick an offensive lineman, an edge rusher, or they're going to pick a safety. But to see that they picked a linebacker who has who recorded zero sacks in college, that tells me they have they they have something that we don't know. There's something about this, man. There's something about this. The only thing, I'm going to look at this and say the only thing that I could say that's going to be a benefit regarding this is that he's an athletic freak. He's an athletic freak. 6'5", 4.3, 4 speed, you know, he's, why do I say it like that? That's a weird way to say it. He's a 6'5 athlete with a 4.36 speed. And the Ravens, they don't usually whiff on linebackers. The Casca may be looking to turn this guy into our edge rusher. And he'll be an athletic edge rusher, which could benefit. So that tells me they've got something up their sleeve. There is something we don't know about this player. The Ravens wouldn't use a first-round pick on a linebacker that's recorded zero sacks if there isn't something they're trying to do with it. There is something there that we don't know. They did their homework. The Kosk is not dumb. He did his homework for this. So I would not be surprised if the Ravens decide to move him to the edge rush position and decide to run him there. They might do that. They might actually do that. This is very interesting. It's very interesting I'm not mad at the pick. I'm never really mad at the picks the Ravens make unless it's completely off the molly. But uh, this is an interesting pick. This is definitely an interesting pick. Uh, I'm going to look a little bit more into him uh, later on tonight when I have time. But, like, this is definitely an interesting pick. It's definitely an interesting pick. Peace out, man. It's, it's been a fun. But, yeah, that pretty much ends the draft for day one. Uh, we'll come back to day two. Ravens will probably uh, trade up for a second-round pick. But, again... The Ravens know what they're doing when it comes to drafting linebackers. Considering the fact that he's an athletic 6'5 linebacker with a 4'36 speed, it tells me that he's he's definitely he's definitely gonna use him. He's gonna fit in with the pass rush, and they're gonna be used, they'll be they're gonna be looking to utilize him at the edge rush position. So I think they drafted him to be our new edge rusher. And they want to have an athletic edge rusher. So this could actually work out. Let's see. Let's not get mad at this one. Let's not say it's a bad one. Let's see what they do. They might change this completely up. I trust in DaCosca. I trust in this front office. And they don't whiff on linebackers. They don't usually whiff. They're usually solid on linebackers. They wouldn't use a first-round draft pick on a linebacker like this if they didn't see something. So, yeah. With that being said, uh, that's the end of the draft here. About to cut this live stream off soon. But, yeah, that's all I got for this video. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.